Hi there guys, Tom Quayle here for Guitar Interactive Magazine, back with another guitar review. This time looking at the ESP LTD SN1000W. Okay, so lots of numbers and letters, but basically this is an ESP, very affordable kind of uh, double cut guitar. Um, it's basically designed to be all the best features of a vintage kind of guitar, plus lots of modern features for the working player. Um, and we can see that as soon as we start off at the headstock end. So straight away, we've got this classic um, looking headstock, but with the ESP kind of flare, with this kind of uh, curve just here. Now ESP are renowned for making really great double cut guitars like this. It's really, really uh, one of their fortes. Um, we've got six per side or six on one side tuners here. And first of all, straight away, modern feature. These are locking LCD tuners. If I turn this over, then we've got these big oversized locks on here, really easy to operate, super easy string changes, really good tuning stability. Okay, so that's why that's, that feature is there. Okay, so here's the back of the headstock. Obviously we've got designed by ASP. This is a pretty plain looking maple neck, but finished with a satin kind of finish. Super smooth, there's no gloss on here, nothing unnecessary at all. And it's a really nice modern kind of C shape, just the right thickness, uh, not overly thin, not overly fat. And then if we turn back again, We've got this dark rosewood fretboard with these small abalone inlays. And these are XJ frets, which basically in ESP terms means big frets. Okay, like jumbos basically, or extra drum jumbo. So playability wise, you can set the action nice and low and very even across the whole guitar, which it is right now, and it feels great to play. Okay, it's got a nice flat radius on it, so it's really easy for both chords and for lead playing, which is great. And then as we come down the guitar here, you can see again, two dots on the 12th fret, and then as we go up, we've got 22 frets. So standard S type guitar setup here. Okay, now when we move to the body, uh, slightly unique scratch plate design with this console just here, which kind of just lends a little bit of uniqueness to this obvious classic design. Um, you can see we've got three pickups, two single coils, and a humbucker, HSS. In my opinion, the most versatile setup you can use, which is superb. Um, these are basically all Seymour Duncans. So we've got two Seymour Duncan single coils and then a humbucker in the bridge. And the really great thing is this one is wired out of phase. So it's noiseless um, in uh, each of the, you know, it's basically working uh, to reduce the noise in the single coil um, territories, which is great. Then we've got a standard volume and a single tone control. So not two tone controls here, more modern in kind of feature set. We've got a Wilkinson bridge, six screw bridge, not a two point floating system, although it is floating, but it's floating on all six screws. Feels super smooth, very, very good. If I just play for you a second. Okay. And you can hear. Still excellent tuning stability thanks to those locking tuners. And also the nut helps there as well. If I turn this over. Nice little contoured neck joint just there, which is again a feature that uh, traditional kind of S-style guitars don't have. And it's contoured very nicely just here on an angle to allow you upper fret access very, very easily. Nice generous cutaways and a slightly pointier design than you would find on a traditional kind of S-shaped guitar with just enough kind of uh, uniqueness to make it stand out a little bit. And we've got this beautiful kind of piano black style finish and then a non-recessed jack socket. So it's not on the top, it's just here. And again, maybe holding in the light, I don't know how well you guys can see the finish, but maybe holding in the light you can see, it's basically like a perloid sparkle style finish, which is nice, not just a plain black. And then we've got, just to finish with, the adjustable truss rod just here that's not kind of buried away. It's really easy to get hold of and just turn basically. So very good modern features, but with traditional kind of vintage style playability and tone. Okay, so let's have a listen to how it sounds. We've got a five-way switch volume and tone, we'll test all the different positions with a clean tone first. So here's this uh, neck position single coil. Position four. Nice kind of uh, position four out of phasey kind of strat sounds. Position three, a bit more girth to this one. Position two.
finally, the bridge position humbucker. Very musical sounding, not too kind of in your face. Okay, what tone control. Let's go back up to that neck position. So a good sweep on there, very musical indeed. So now let's switch over to an overdrive sound and do all five positions again, starting this time with the bridge. Okay, moving up one position, position two. Middle position. Okay, position four. And then finally, position five. So cool kind of um, S-type sounds, obviously single coils and humbuckers, but having the humbucker in the bridge is gonna give you a bit more kind of drive and output for your lead tones, um, which is a really nice feature. So, great guitar, eminently affordable, and it's got all the great features you would want from a modern instrument combined with the kind of uh, classic vintage sounds. So uh, yeah, that's the ESP LTD SN1000. Hope you enjoyed the review, guys, and I will see you next time.